Hi, my dear friends. Welcome, welcome back to the another interesting video in the complex Fourier transform. Yeah. See the question. Get the Fourier transform of the part x equal to one minus x squared in mod x less than one, zero in mod x greater than or equal to one. So, what's the limit for the function minus one to plus one? Well, the function is one minus x squared. Otherwise, it is zero. And hence prove that. Hence prove that. Zero to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube cos s by two d s to three pi by sixteen. So the answer is given to you. This is the answer. The part C question. That is a little bit a lengthy question, but only one relation part. So there is no power at all. So better we can apply the inversion part. Right, sir? Let us see. To get the Fourier transform first of all, the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to one by square root of two pi. Now the function is defined in terms of minus one to plus one, one minus x square into e to the power i s x into b x. So one by square root of two pi minus one to plus one, one minus x square. For my convenience, I am writing e to the power i x x equal to cos s x plus i sin s x. Now as already you know, this is the even function. This is the odd function. Yeah, one minus x squared is also a even function. So even to even is even. Even the odd is odd. So by using the even and the odd concepts, this first integral part can be done. Twice the time integral zero to one, one minus x squared into cos s x dx, and the second one becomes zero because of odd. So this is after cancel is a one two two. We get is root two by pi. Can we use the binary formula here? So one minus x squared u. Cos s x integration is sin s x by n. Yes, minus the formula minus one minus x squared. Differential is minus two x, and sin s x integration is minus cos s x by x squared plus the formula minus two x integration. Differential is minus two, and this becomes minus sin s s by this part three. Close the term. X is equal to zero. To by putting x equal to one, one minus one zero. By putting x equal to zero, sin zero. And zero minus or minus plus plus or minus 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 or minus plus. So two is a common. So we take two outside. So two into square root of two by five. The first terms comes first. Sine this x by s cube minus x in cos this x by s cube. With the limit x is equal to zero to one. By putting x is equal to one here, I am getting the two into square root of two by five. Sine this by s cube minus x equal to one. So this cos is by s squared. By putting x is equal to zero, sine zero zero zero, and everything zero. So that's all. Can we take the s cube as LCM? This we get two into two divided by pi. Yes, cube is equal to sine yes minus yes cos yes. So this is the Fourier transform of the problem. This is the Fourier transform of the problem. Right? After getting this Fourier transform, I want to go for this part. Is it? Obviously, you have seen the equation formula. But before going to that, okay, check this. This is an even function. This is an even function. Can I replace s yes by minus s? Yes. What will get? F of minus s yes equal to sine of minus s. Yes. Minus of minus s into cos of minus s by minus s whole power three. Sine of minus three is minus sine theta, so minus sine s. Minus of minus plus yes, cos of minus three is cos s by minus s cube. By taking minus common, we get the numerator sine s minus cos s by minus s cube. After cancelling the minus minus, this exactly looks like the given input we have this. So once the function f of minus s is equal to f of s, then we say that the function is even function. Got it? So with the help of this idea, I go for the deduction part here. So how to deduce it? Yeah, so go for the deduction part. How to deduce it? So by inversion formula. By inversion formula. By inversion formula. One by square root of two pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity. The Fourier transform of f of x into e to the power minus i s x 
P S is equal to F of X. So this is the inversion problem. Now substitute in the place of F of F of X equal to F of S. So 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity. 2 into square root of 2 by pi. So 2 into square root of 2 by pi sin S minus S cos S by S cube. So this is the this is the given f of s into e power minus i s x. I need in terms of cos term. So I read this by cos s x minus i sin s x into d s is equal to f of s by using the demolish theorem or oiler's theorem. E power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. E power minus i theta is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta. Is right? Clear? The concept of you know. Now this is the even function, this is the even function, yeah, right? Can I take x is equal to 0 because I don't want this uh, sign term. Obviously, this becomes. When I take x equal to 0, sign 0 becomes 0. So 0 and thing 0. What about the right hand side? f of 0. So can I take x is equal to 0? Can I take x is equal to 0? Can I take x equal to 0 is good? No, because if I take x equal to 0 here, you get cos 0 is 1, but I need the cos s by 2. So taking s equal to 0 is not the advice I Because I need cos s by 2. So can you use the even and the odd concepts? Yes, this is an even function. This is also an even function. This is the odd function. Now, when I product these two, what will get? So before that, root 2 will cancel root pi pi. So it's 2 by pi integral minus infinity plus infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into cos s x d s minus 0 is equal to f of x. Why this becomes 0? Why this becomes 0? Because this is the even function, this is also odd function. So even the odd is r. So this is the odd function, the integral value is 0. But this is the even, even the even is even. So this can be plus twice the time. I see that same concept. So 2 into 2, so we can write twice the time. So can we rewrite this by twice? So 2 by 5 will be there in the left hand side. Once again now read it by 2 by that time, 0 to infinity, sin s minus s cos s by s cube into cos s x ds is equal to f of x. So almost we reach the answer, but here x, x, here s by 2. So I think so. Can I take x is equal to 1 by 2? Can I take x is equal to 1 by 2? What happened to f of 1 by 2? f of 1 by 2 means here x is equal to 1 by 2. Where is 1 by 2? Kana? 1 by 2 is inside the interval only. Here 1 by 2. So in this interval, the function is 1 minus x squared. So you can substitute x is equal to 1 by 2 here. So you get 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 4. So the left hand side is 4 by 5. In the left hand side 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into cos s. What about x now? x is equal to 1 by 2. So x by 2 into ds is equal to f of 1 by 2. f of 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. Correct? f of 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So I can multiply this 4 by 5 next to side. We get the required answer 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s by s cube into cos s by 2 ds is equal to what is the answer? 3 by 4 is already there. Now this 4 by 5 make it to the reciprocal. We get this 5 by 4. That's why the answer is 3 pi by 16. Hence the rule. Excellent. So this is the way of our problems based on the complex Fourier transform. Complex Fourier transform. Clear? So after getting the Fourier transform, we may deduce the some internal indefinite integrals with the help of the inversion formula. Sometimes there is possible anything. I hope everyone you may like this lecture. Please kindly share, subscribe, and watch and comment our YouTube channel ADC Max. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.